According to the American Psychological Association, money's the number one cause of stress for adults in our country. But it doesn't have to be. Here, with uh, The Secrets to Better Managing Your Budget, is author of Real Money Answers for Every Woman, Patrice Washington. Hey. Hi. Okay, Patrice, let's get started. Uh, so many people end up in financial ruts. Why? There's just a lot of fear and shame when it comes to talking about finances in general. And so when people get stuck, what usually happens is that they're too embarrassed to ask for the help that they need. And they wait until it goes too far and until it gets too deep to ask for help. Mm. A lot of people don't even realize that you can go to your creditor for help. And if the creditor doesn't work, you can always reach out to a nonprofit. There is help. You just have to be willing to look for it. And you have to remember that successful personal finance in general takes you being proactive instead of being reactive. Okay, this is gonna help a lot of people. We've got three uh, young women here facing some serious money issues and Patrice is gonna help them with her practical uh, advice in it. And of course, I have probably some ideas on my own as soon as I <laughs> hear what it is. Probably ain't in no book nowhere, but you know, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Let's meet Bridget. Tarnisha and Alexis. Uh, Bridget, what's going on? So I went to college to get my degree to live a successful life, um, but I ended up with $160,000 worth of student loan wow. and no uh, job prospects. So um, I thought my only way out was to work at a volunteer organization. I am living on a living stipend. I am living in a converted storage unit with my roommate, and I'm also on food stamps. Um, so I really didn't know where to go from here. Um, after this program's done, it allows me to defer my loans for a year, but after it's done, um, I will be stuck with paying my seven different student loan lenders between $1,200 and $3,000 a month. So how do I dig myself out of this hole? Okay, wow. Trees. Yeah. Well, the first thing that you should know, Bridget, is that you're not alone because outstanding student loan debt in this country is over a trillion dollars. But here's the thing, you can't defer those loans forever. We have to get a plan to pay them off because deferring doesn't make them go away. Mm -hmm. So my advice to you is to think about student loan debt consolidation because what that'll do is help you simplify all of these into one payment, into one bill that'll be so much easier for you to manage. It'll just give you a little bit of a break there and it'll help you save big time. I'm talking about saving up to 40% just in the interest payments on the loans, which will be very helpful. And the last thing that consolidating will actually do for you is just give you a peace of mind again and so that you can breathe and just have a moment uh, to really, one, enjoy the fact that you did do the hard work of going to get that education, but now have a real plan in place to just get through this right. because I know that it's overwhelming. Definitely. Right. Thank you. Okay, let me ask you a question. What happens if you don't pay the loan? <laughs> they come chasing after me. <laughs> If you ain't got the money to pay them, what they gonna do? You're already living in a, a storage bin. <laughs> what they gonna do? What they gonna take? You ain't got nothing. How they gonna garnish your wages? You ain't got no job. <laughs> you gonna get this money the way I'm gonna pay it to you. <laughs> Up next, we have Tarnisha. Tarnisha, what's going on with you? I'm a single mother of a 17-year-old son, and I'm currently living paycheck to paycheck. When all those funds are exhausted, I do rely on my 13 credit cards that, to get me through, and I only pay the minimum. I am trying to be a good example for my son, and I'm just trying to find a way um, to get out of this financial rut, and here are my 13 cards. You got 13 credit cards? Yes, I do. And my total debt in loans and credit cards is $80,000. 80? 80,000, yes. Patrice, what, what's your advice? <laughs> and, you really ain't gonna wanna hear what I got to say, so. And I mean, I, I am angry about it. I'm very frustrated. So I'm just at the point now that I must do something about it. Mm -hmm. The first thing is to get out of debt, you have to stop creating new debt. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can't keep creating new debt and saying that you wanna be out of it. So right. that has to stop now, it has to stop today. Yes. Now the next thing is that you need to create a realistic budget so that you don't have to keep using credit cards as your crutch. We wanna cut that out. 
Right. And then we want to take the money that we can find in our budget and strategically apply that to our debt. And what we want to use is what I call a debt elimination method. Okay. And it's about, about being intentional. It's about being strategic with how you use your money to pay off the debt. Yes. So we want to focus on lining up all of your credit cards, prioritizing them, and paying off the small one first so that we can get a quick win. Okay. And so that we can start cutting those up and getting rid of those credit cards quickly. Absolutely. Now, when we pay off the first debt, it's not party time. Right. What we have to do is take that budgeted money and apply it to the next debt and then the next debt and the next debt in line. And you know, Steve always says inch by inch, it's a cinch, right? right? And so it's no different with your debt elimination plan. Inch by inch, it will be a cinch, but you have to stick to the plan because if you do, you can be halfway out of that debt in two years because I ran your numbers. Okay. And if you stick to that plan, you can be out of that credit card debt and those private loans in about less than four years. It's all about sticking to the plan. And not only will you get out of that debt, you will save thousands of dollars in interest. Thank you. Okay, now, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't have four years. I got to get out now. To, this is how you do it. You file bankruptcy. Right. Then, if you just ask around, $2,500, you get another Social Security number. <laughs> Babies is born every day. <laughs> you just be a brand new 40-year-old baby. <laughs> Credit report just as clean. They be looking you up, you going, damn, you ain't got an address or nothing. <laughs> hey, I just been staying with my mama. <laughs> oh my okay, up next, uh, Alexis is uh, facing the ultimate dreamer's dilemma, how to succeed in business without going broke on the way. Stay with us. We're going to find out what that means when we come back. Mm -hmm.